Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to either enable or disable USB drives or ports in Windows. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just off on the Start button one time. Type in RegEdit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to come back a Registry Editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I'd highly suggest that you create a backup of it. So if anything ever went wrong, you just easily restore it back. So in order to do that, it's quite simple. Just would go ahead and left click on the file tab up in the top left. Select export. Make sure export range is selected to all. And then save it to a convenient location on your computer. File name should be something that makes sense. Usually I would suggest the date in which you're making the backup. And then you select save. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just would do file and then import. So pretty straightforward process of how to go ahead and do that. So once that's done, now you want to go and expand the H key local machine folder. So you double click on it or left click on the arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing now for the system folder. So again, double click or left click on the little arrow next to it. Find the current control set folder. Double click on it services folder underneath that double click and now there should be something that says USB STOR so scroll down a little bit right here please note you can see the path of our registry folder right on the top of the screen here so if you want to pause the video at this point and then just go into the path you can see each folder is separated by a backslash so if you want to rewatch the video or just pause the video if we were going a little fast so once you've done that now you want to find the start D word value so go ahead and double click on that if you want to enable all of your USB ports you want to type the number 3 in here so make sure it's set to 3 if you want to disable them you're going to type in number 4 so delete the 3 and turn it into a 4 but again if you want to enable all USB ports type the number 3 in the value data field, don't spell it out, just type the number 3. Left one OK to save the change. Once you know what that, you can close out of the registry editor. And that should hopefully be about it. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.